Welcome back everyone for another episode of my Manchester United career on FIFA 16. In the previous episode, we slipped up massively against the newly promoted sides Bournemouth and Norwich. Dropping all three points to Norwich, losing 3-1 at Old Trafford. It just wasn't good enough and you can see by the current league standards, yes we've got a game in hand, we have fallen three points behind Manchester City. Look at the bottom as well. Spurs are still there in the relegation zone. Unbelievable that. But can you do it on a cold night Welcome at the Britannia Stadium against Stoke? That's the question that I'm thinking about at the moment because our form has been poor lately. So this is how Stoke line up for this one in goal. Butland starts. Glenn Johnson, who they signed from Liverpool in the summer. Cameron and Wilson at centre-back. Whelan and Sidwell in central midfield with Ireland and Joselu going forwards. Would have thought Shakiri would have started this game. Bit of a weird one. Maybe Peter Crouch as well up front using that height. For Manchester United, staying consistent with the central midfield of Schneidlin and Schweinsteiger. And up front, I've decided to go with Wayne Rooney as Martial didn't have the best of times in front of goal against Norwich. I'm liking the hazy conditions that I've chosen for this game. It's a bit of a later kickoff as well. Just liking the colour of the pitch. And Joselu just puts that over. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. They really are closing in on us at the moment. Stoke, but can we hit them on the counter? Memphis doing so well. Oh, he's just surrounded by players. Can I pull off a shot? No, I can't. And Butler making it so easy. Here comes Stoke again. Whelan. Just nice bits of interplay all over the pitch. One, twos here and there. Johnson. Still got the ball, Johnson. Josselu. Oh, what a save by Romero. What a save. How is it still nil-nil, though? Memphis playing a bit more central as Rooney's pushing out wide. Matter making that run into the box. Almost found him. We have Schneidlin. Oh, he took his time to hit that ball on the volley then. And it's poor in the end. Johnson really pushing forwards. Has a right back. Oh, no. Memphis, you've let me down there. And Whelan makes it 1-0. It was coming. And Stoke, you know, they, they thoroughly deserve that. They've had better chances than that. Ramiro has been the only person to keep United in this game, apart from that goal, obviously, from Whelan. It was that bad back pass from Memphis. I was looking to try and play out of defence, play it coolly, but Whelan intercepting the ball just in time. We're not closing them down quick enough. We're not stealing the ball. We I think we need to just be a little bit more rough with them, if I, if I can, without conceding any free kicks. And is that Whelan again going for another long shot? Varane got a crucial block in there. It could have been on target, that. Put Ramiro to the test again. They've took it short looking for that near post. Oh, we can break now with Memphis. Can we get round him? Come on, Memphis. You've got the pace. Oh, he's still got it. Johnson just messing up with his initial challenge. Oh, he's finally got the ball back. That's fantastic from him. Martial, who's been a bit of a super sub for me so far this season. And he's going to be a free kick to United. And was that just inside or just outside the D? Looked like it was inside. And I'll probably leave this one. Oh, it's just outside. Still in free kick territory. Memphis scoring that free kick. Two Premier League fixtures ago against Bournemouth. 34 yards out. This is closer in. Can we get back on level terms? With just five minutes to go. As the referee lays down the vanishing spray. Come on. 22 yards out. Shakir, they've got a pretty small wall here. They've got Shakiri in there. Maybe Bojan. That's going to be a yellow card for moving forwards for Juf, former Manchester United player. Here we go. I'm going to go for power for this one then. See if we can slot it into that top corner. Oh, it's just gone over. Did that not take a deflection? Could have swore it did. Another loss for Manchester United. It's not looking good for us at the moment. We dropped three points against Bournemouth. We dropped three points against Norwich and we've dropped all three points here against Stoke. It was always going to be difficult coming here to the Britannia Stadium and playing Stoke, but those games against Bournemouth and Norwich, in total, we should have been coming away with six points, really, and maybe come away with a point from this game. But it's just, it's not looking, it's looking bleak for us at the moment. We need to turn this around. Things could potentially go from bad to worse here. We've got Chelsea next in the Premier League. We've only picked up a point in three games out of a total of nine. It's just not good enough. There has been delay over Romero. 
Okay, he conceded that winning goal against Stoke from Whelan. But after that, after Whelan scored that goal, they had so many chances created. And they had so many shots on target. You know, shots that should have been goals, really. But Ramiro did well and uh, did save that. So I'm not sure whether I should start him against Chelsea. It'll probably beat De Gea. Maybe De Gea's learnt his lesson of being benched. We'll have to wait and see what happens. And um, we've got that uh, home advantage site. But I suppose after losing against Norwich, it doesn't really mean anything at the moment. It's Manchester United against Chelsea in the Premier League at Old Trafford. And it's a chance for us to get back on track, to get back to winning ways. Chelsea, they win here today. They can go above us by a point. They are only two points behind us at the moment. But if we win, we can go three points behind the league leaders, Man City, who have a six-point advantage at the moment. It's a great position to be in as we're just heading in to the busiest time of the season, the Christmas period. So for Manchester United, it's a must win here against Jose Mourinho's Chelsea. Let's have a look at the starting lineup so you can see that David De Gea is back in the starting lineup in goal. At the back, Phil Jones returns to the team alongside Chris Smalling. Wayne Rooney in number 10. Ashley Young starts out in the flanks. And Harry Kane gets a start for United as he's the only forwards that has scored a goal in the last three, four games. So maybe he can get on the score sheet here against Chelsea. Now for Chelsea. Going forwards, look at that, they've got Diego Costa, Fabregas, Hazard, William, Matic and Ramirez. But at the back, Chelsea, they seem to be lacking. Gary Cahill drop into the bench. What I want to be targeting then is John Terry in this game for his slowness. Maybe use someone like Memphis. Someone that could get around in Memphis with a good block here. It's going to fall to Rooney on for Kane. Herrera, where's Mata? He's not there. Give it back to Kane, look at the space, Rooney's in. Oh, it's 1-0, eight minutes gone. Bit of a blow for Chelsea. But if you're going to allow space and time like that for someone like Wayne Rooney, you're going to have to expect to concede at least a goal. Look at that great first-time pass from Harry Kane. Great finish as well. We're in the driver's seat then. Here comes Hazard. Oh, look at the space I've just given him. And here's Matic pressing out wide. Not sure why he's all the way over here. That's simple for David De Gea. Let's get back at Chelsea then. Oh, nice flick on by Rooney. On for Memphis. Yes, son. Maybe we can produce a second goal. There's option there for Rooney. And that's going to be a free kick. There's Ramirez just putting his whole body in the way of Memphis's path. Just blocking him completely. So 35 yards out. Same sort of position I scored with Memphis against Bournemouth with this free kick. I'm going to go for power though. And it's straight at the wall. That was poor in the end from him. Would be nice to get a second before half time against Chelsea. Oh, referee, surely that's a penalty. Ivanovic with a crunching tackle on Rooney. We've took the stride out of William. And he's been forced to cross it in and it was poor in the end. Chelsea still have possession. So they're working around our shape at the moment. Ramirez with the shot. Another good save by De Gea. Keep that alive, Damian. Can't. Can't keep it alive. All right, that's good. Just try and hold on to this 1-0 lead. Don't want to be conceding. We can maybe be on for a second here with Ashley Young. That's a good ball for Harry Kane. Denied by Courtois. What a finish that would have been for Kane. It's like Williams going off. Bit of a weird one, that from uh, Mourinho but on comes Martial for Harry Kane and Valencia for Memphis Aiden Hazard hasn't really had much of an impact in this one would have expected him to he's made a few good runs here and there but that's about it it's a good ball into the box it's a header over way into the crowd from Ramirez oh well done Rooney as he chests that down over the top for Valencia look at the space for Martial Oh, denied again. And we finally got it. It is finally 2-0. And it's super sub Martial that gets the goal with just five minutes to go. Surely this game has now been well and truly put to bed. Should have finished that first time really Martial, but at least he followed it up with a goal. This game is well and truly over. Even if Chelsea are to get a goal here, which I hope they don't. I want to keep that clean sheet. It'll only be seen as a consolation. Oh my word, they've actually got the goal as well. It's 2-1. He's not picking up the ball. It's almost as if they know they've lost. 
hit on the volley. They were really all out attack there. Aiden Hazard with that assist. Really do expect better of De Gea though in that situation. Final score here at Old Trafford, Manchester United 2, Chelsea 1. I hope United on our back to win in ways in the Premier League as we have closed the gap with Man City to just three points in the league as we head into the busiest time of the season, the Christmas period. Anyway guys, that's all from me for this one. Hope you've enjoyed. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.